Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh video in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about constants in C++. So the file that I have opened here in my IDE code blocks is called constants and in this file we're going to write some code that is going to compute the area of a circle with a given value for the radius, right? So I've got the main function declaration on line number four and on lines five and 10, I've got the opening and the closing curly braces for the main function respectively. On line number seven, I have uh, declared and initialized a variable called radius. It has the value of five and it's of float type. So even though I have uh, stored an integer value in it, a whole number, you could also store a fractional value. On line number eight, I've got a C out statement that's first going to display some text, area of a circle with radius. Then it's going to display the value that's stored in the variable radius, uh, some more text. And then finally, it's going to use a formula to compute the area of the circle. Now, in order to compute the area of a circle, you obviously need a value for the radius, right? Because the formula is pi r squared, but you also need value for a mathematical constant called pi, right? And uh, unlike radius, pi always takes a fixed value of 3.14 or 22 by 7, right? So you could declare pi as another variable just as you have uh, radius and you could give it the value 3.14 and compute the area of the circle using this formula and everything would work just fine. But the problem with doing that is or the problem in general uh, with using constants as variables in programs is that you could unintentionally like you know make an error and change the value of the constant and that could lead to some unexpected consequences in your program right so that's how the concept of constants came into programming you know there can be times where you want to assign a value to a variable or some entity and you would want that entity to sort of you know just keep that value throughout the life of the program and even if there are going to be functions or you know situations where the the program is going to try to change the value for those entities uh, you know it just won't happen right so there are two ways in which you can create constants in C++ uh, you know the more common way of doing it is uh, the way I have it now inside my main function on line number six uh, using the keyword const that c-o-n-s-t and you have to give a space after that and mention the data type for your constant and that in this case would be float and of course the name of the constant which is pi and the equal to symbol 3.14 so uh, from this point till this point uh, the declaration for a constant is you know actually the same as declaration or initialization of a variable it's just that it's a convention in programming to always uh, declare constants with only uppercase alphabets and you know not with lowercase or mixed case uh, alphabets as you could with uh, you know regular variables so that's why I have pi both p and i in uppercase uh, so this is one way of doing it and if I would save the file and run the program I would see that the area of the circle with radius 5 is 78.5 square units right but if I comment this out and if I uncomment the code that I have on line number 3 in this program uh, this is actually doing the same thing. It's creating a constant called pi with the value 3.14 But you don't need to use the assignment operator here And this is actually a preprocessor directive and we're going to talk about directives later on but uh, Just know that this is one way of creating constants you first put in the pound symbol, you know just as you do with the you know the header file inclusion so you put the pound symbol and then the keyword define follow that up with the name of your constant and the value you know no need for the equal to symbol so I'll save the file and I would again click on build and run and I see that I get the same output right because the value for pi is is now known to the main function right it's a global constant so uh, 
we actually use the multiplication arithmetic operator in this program as well we haven't talked about it uh, formally in the course yet but there's going to be a separate tutorial on arithmetic uh, operators when we're going to talk about the addition subtraction multiplication and division this was just to drive home the concept for constants and how we can declare and use them in programs and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care